Hey, this is Arav and you're watching Art Creators. So, alright guys, in this video, we are just doing a Pixel Experience ROM review and which stands for the Mojito codename. So, I had installed this ROM few days ago and I finally checked all the things for this review. So, let's start with the ROM review. So for the talking about the screen on time, I do get 7 to 8 hours of screen on time on this device, not much more than that. It depends on the user's use. And if you ask me for the battery usage, this is my battery usage and not used many apps, but I used to run some benchmarks as you can see this throttling test, Geekbench 5 and Ant2, nothing more much than that. And yeah, it do supports fast charging. Sometimes it creates a lag, but you have to anyhow see this. Uh, at night yesterday, it is at 20% when I go to sleep. Sleep, and in the morning I got 10%. So there is a 10% battery drop over all the night. And for this charging speed, it supports charging rapidly as you can see this. And after that. If you are asking me for the CPU throttling test, this is the result 90% to its max performance and the max GIPS is 138081 and the minimum is 11764 GIPS. So you don't get much more powerful much more powerful this from this row, but yeah. And if you talk me about the Geekbench, the results are pretty impressive from comparison to another ROM that it got single core 500 and multi core 1354 so I can't complain about this thing uh, and if you are asking me for the pre-root status this is not a pre-rooted ROM so you can easily run ranking apps and the safety net test is passed there is no issues with that also if you ask me for the carrier aggregation it does not support carrier aggregation in my airtel sim so be ready for that also and i have ran first time also the uh, thermal throttling test at first time i got 84 percent so not good at thermals it is a storage test of the android to benchmark and it got a pretty imp impressive scores and if you ask me for the Antutu scores, it does not work. I don't know why, but Antutu scores were not working. It starts running the benchmark, but suddenly it stops and the device reboots. So there is some issues with that. If you ask me for the camera to API support, you can see this. It is supported. There is no issues with the camera to API. After getting to that, this ROM doesn't come with many other customizations yeah you do get few customizations in plus edition uh, let's start with the settings option too in the gestures you can see this quick tap is enabled it works in system navigation it does not comes with any customization pure pixel experience 100 mode is there you can just do this and you can use notification panel or everything what you want you have to just customize it System updater, yeah, you do get system updater. You do get an updates monthly when where the new build is come up. After talk, talking that, it comes with the kernel version of Pixel Experience. If they use Legion kernel, that the performance will be too good. Android version 12, and it comes with a fair fifth May security update. Baseband version as you can see this build number is SP2A so there is nothing new with this in my personal opinion which goes I don't think you have to use this ROM but if you want you should do and nothing more things were added if you can see this wallpaper and style only it firstly I will want to tell you that it is running on under 12 l not under 12 it's 12 l and basic colors is there many options is there you want themed icon you can in, uh, enable themed icon so it totally depends on you if you like my videos please do like like and subscribe to my channel because your one like and subscribe gives us motivation to work uh, on other videos so 
This is Arav signing you off. We'll meet in your next video. Bye-bye.